Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a, a great week or hope you had a good week so far. And welcome to this new video on XRP, right? I wanted to do a full, a full kind, of, uh, kind of update and review on the current situation and, uh, and, uh, and what happened. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before that uh, when, when Ripple cross appealed. Um, well, published today. I, no, I, I, I think this was yesterday, but I'm not sure. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the cross appeal and just in general, in my eyes, what the current situation is, all right? Um, which is very different from two weeks back. Two weeks back, I was still relatively optimistic that we could actually see no appeal and that the case would be over. Uh, and the market also surged a bit on top of that, made some money on that. But unfortunately, um, we were not able to hold that. And in, in general, like the news that we got yesterday is, is that R R Ripple cross appeals, right? So they also appeal uh, the ruling of August. Um, the SEC, SEC already already appealed earlier last week. Um, so in general, the situation right now, I, I, I think it's quite clear why XRP is, um, is, is appealing as well. I mean, what they say themselves is that they just want everything off the table. And that they want this case to be over and that all points will be discussed, right? Because now what the SEC has done is they appealed the, the points, right, that, that were ruled against them. So now, and it was, well, XRP won, Ripple won the case, I think, on most points. But they also lost some points. So now they cross appeal to also, uh, to also talk about those points. Um, so what this essentially means to me, and there's obviously more nuances uh, there, and, and there's definitely more details that's, that we might be able to talk about later. Uh, but what it means is that the case is fully open again. Um, and most of the price action, let's, uh, let's be honest with ourselves, most of the price action for XRP while the case was open was not great, all right? Um, most often we were just either slightly bearish or just consolidating. And of course, you had some bullish momentum in there as well when the market was bullish, but there was almost no no time um, or, or or no part par, part of the part of the structure where we were actually bullish without the market being bullish, and that's not a coin that's interesting to trade. And I'm afraid that we're getting back into in, into that right now because what you can see on the short term is that we we did have the news, right? We we had news um, about the cross appeal. We had news about those X, uh, the, those XRP ETF filings. Now we already said said back then this is probably not going to matter much. Um, but if there was some sort of hope for XRP, you'd see some sort of momentum come in. Come in. Um, and now there's absolutely no momentum coming in um, in terms of the technicals right here on the four hour time frame. We're just very much consolidating here in this area between 54 and a half and uh, well, ultimately 50 cents, even though we, ha we, we haven't hit that. So I would say that's most likely. It may be like later this month, maybe we'll get some, some more information um, and, and some, some, some news about the uh, Ripple stablecoin program and what they're trying to do with that. That's a possibility. Maybe that's actually able to, to cause some bullish momentum. Um, but I would, not, um, I would not assume it does, right? Because a, a cross appeal, um, I would have expected a little bit more bullish momentum from that or at least some more trading. And at this point of time, uh, XRP is neither, right? So I would expect that we'll, we'll just consolidate in this area. I don't expect lower lows for now. And I think the only way we can actually break up and get towards like 56, 57 cents is if Bitcoin becomes bullish. Um, and if you want to know more about that, then check out my Bitcoin video, right? Um, but that's what I think you, you need to know regarding the situation for XRP right now. Obviously, if, if anything happens, if we do see some sort of an increase or decrease, in momentum um i'll let you know but for now i think this is most likely given what we know of of, of the current situation um and uh, and how that has been historically for the price and price action of xrp so that's what i think you need to know those are my thoughts for now like i said uh, most important level right here is 54 and a half cents uh, if we're able to break above that for whatever reason, we can have some short-term bullish momentum. But I, I think the only way we can actually do that is if Bitcoin is bullish. Um, and I would expect that there are other coins that will rally more if that happens. So therefore, I, I don't think XRP is, is interesting regardless. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.